and his memories back, and hopefully it doesn't bite us in the ass. Yeah, well, when would that ever happen? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Why? Uh, all right. Uh, yes, so I will move you all to the appropriate map. Let me sure I have the right spell prepared, because that would really suck if I didn't prepare it. Start smoking now to deal with my stress. So, do we actually take? I know we were talking about um, uh, actually doing stuff between this long rest or like watches uh, you or anything. Guys, you guys had wanted to set watches, so we would have to resolve those before the uh, uh, before you actually like got your long rest. So, um, who would want to be on first, second, and third watch? Uh, now Rizo is going to attempt some poisons again. Okay. Uh, yeah. What supplies do you have for your poison still? Let me look. Notes. Uh, I know I created one of those. I'm down to two. Uh, it looks like I only have the white lotus plant still. I got two left. Okay. So, um... I'm going to have you go ahead and roll me an intelligence check. Is it that. investigation? Yeah, it's just an intelligence check that you're proficient in, so... Do you want proficient or expertise? Uh, do you have expertise in your poisoners stuff? Uh, how do I know if I'm expertise in it? Uh, you would can take expertise either in... Um, like, you can have expertise in Thieves' Tools, or your Poisoner's Kit, or you can take expertise in actual, like, uh, actual skills. Um, Poisoner, I'm trying to see... Infiltration expertise, reliable... I know you took the Poisoner feat, so... Yeah, which just gives me... Prof about it? it gives me proficiency in it. Where is the Poisoner feat at? What the fuck's happening? Feats... Features and traits, poisoner. Yeah, this has proficiency with it. Yeah, yeah proficiency. I'm special. I should have been using my poison stuff this whole time because it ignores immunity. <laughs> oh, it ignores immunity, not just resistance. Oh wait, no, it ignores resistance to poison yeah. damage, not yeah. immunity. That would be uh. Pretty good. Oh, oh, yeah, OP is shit. Okay, so I'll use religion since I'm proficient in that and not expertise in it. Okay. So we'll 17. 17. And let me check the DC for I'm white lotus. Pretty sure it's not it. Uh, oh, not gonna make it. I'm also pretty sure it's not gonna be enough, but I wanna double check just in case. Round two, one left. I need to get some more supplies. I have no more poison shit. There it is. Poisons. Uh, da -da -da -da. There we go. DC. Oh, 17 will do it. Oh, shit. Nice. Hey. Uh, yeah, the modification DC on that is 16. Hmm. Yeah. Uh... The Black Lotus poison is DC 22. Oh, boy. Um, so, yeah, you are able to um, get your little poisoner's kit set up and uh, distill yourself uh, two white lotus poisons. Got four now. Um, okay, and then who is on first, second, and third watch? I'll take first. Okay. Uh, Zeth, go ahead and give me a perception check. Thirteen. Uh, with a thirteen, uh, somewhere on the east side of the temple, you occasionally hear boom, 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 boom. Does it sound? Like something we've already experienced, or it's a new sound, new thumping sound? Uh, 
It's a new thumping sound with a 13. Uh, they're roughly in the cadence of footsteps. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to just kind of meander over to the steps and try to Try to look around, see if I can see anything, try to get a, you know, better idea of what's going on, but I'm not going to leave the room. Okay. Uh, try to be more vigilant. You don't see anything from where you're at. Um, I'll pop a divine sense on top of it just for shits and giggles. So you clearly get some undead off of your friend here. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you are also going to get, God, would they be? I guess fiends. Uh, you will get fiendish uh, things from down below where you're at. All right. Well, like I said, I'm not gonna. If they're not approaching, I'm not gonna do anything about it. I'm just gonna stay here and, you know, watch over the crowd while they sleep. Okay. Uh, otherwise, your watch passes uneventfully. Uh, who's taking second? Uh, I can do second. Okay. Hey, hey, second and third if we need to, right? If I need to, right? What's that? Can I do second and third if I have to? Uh, yes, yeah, since you uh, only need to trance, then yeah, you're you're already done, so you can do both. Yeah, I'll I'll uh, I can do both if no one else wants to do third. It's easy enough. Hey, hey Polly, there uh, there's definitely some. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but there's some uh, footsteps or what sounds like footsteps. Just keep an eye on them. I don't. They don't seem to be coming closer, but they are there. Okay, I I'll take a listen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Guidance. Uh, give, me, give me that perception check. There we go. Okay, 24. Um, it's not all the time, but yeah, you do occasionally hear those same booming footsteps. You can clearly tell that they're footsteps of some sort of uh, large stone creature, because it definitely feels, sounds to you like stone on stone. On the east, you said? Somewhere on the east side of the temple. Uh, with a 26, you're going to be able to tell that it is on this upper floor with you not on the lower floor. Okay. I will take note and watch over everybody as we go into the uh, other sleeps. Okay. Uh, otherwise, your watch passes uneventfully. And that will be your long rest. Ray. So what do you guys want to do? All right, then, Mr. Skelly Man, let's get you your memory back. Oh, that sounds excellent. I would much appreciate uh, being able to remember where I've put things like my glasses. <laughs> that actually, yeah, yeah. Because maybe your glasses could help you read uh, whatever's in these blank books, if it's like magic or something. Yes, I, I haven't been able to pick well, one up and read it. Were they special glasses, or they just help you see? Oh, I've no idea. I just feel like I should be able to read these books, and I can't. Guys, I don't know why, but I just got a weird feeling that those glasses that the, the little uh -huh. furry fox friend was wearing were his glasses. Yeah. Man. Like, he just seems so nice, though. Like, they probably aren't, but... Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Anyways, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Yeah. And I'm going to walk up. It'll be fine. I'm going to reach up and be like, oh, uh, could you um, kind of crouch for me? I need to put my hands near your near your head. I'm, and I'm gonna, you're, you're, you're rather tall. I'm going to stealthily move behind him. Just get ready, just in case. Oh, yeah, you're gonna 
Isn't that like diamond dust? <laughs> where, where would we have gotten diamond dust? I feel like someone well I feel like at one point someone was like, oh yeah, we should grab stuff for spells and grabbed it, but I didn't. So um, you guys check your shit. You Probably. did find some diamond dust earlier when you tried to take a gem from the um Fetitov crypt. Oh. And it, yeah. And it was not wanting to be taken. Yeah. Right. Uh, but I don't have that on me. So Borden's like, oh yeah, you won't have like diamond dust. So oh, you're telling so... me this ultra plan of getting his memory back. And you didn't think to look in your inventory to see uh, if you had the necessary supplies? Well, listen, I have the spells. You guys carry the supplies. I'm not sure how that works. I have the listen, I have the basic supplies for my spells that I use to heal you and for combat, etc. But this is like a specialty thing, it requires 100 gold worth of diamond dust. That's stuff that you guys always have on you. Can't you do your... Your magical thing where you transfer one thing into another thing? Doesn't that apply to this uh, as well? No, because I take scrap metal and make it into weapons. I can't create what isn't already there. Take scrap metal and turn it into diamond dust. Man, you'd be a rich son of a bitch. God, if only that's how it worked, but that's not. I'm not a transmuter. Ranch, bitch. <laughs> I I'm not I don't do transmutation magic. I'm not a transmuter. I take what's already here and create something new with it. I have a five hundred uh gold diamond. I we need to keep three hundred of it for in case we need to bring anybody back, but I can take a little bit off of my diamond. How much diamond dust do you need? There's a hundred gold's worth. So if I just, like, chisel off that bottom corner there and grind it into a powder, you know, like that would work. Want that, cha <laughs> want that change the character of it now? Now you're getting, now you're getting too specific. Stop listen, it. listen. This I is know a fantasy how... world, sir. Stop it. Listen, listen, sir, I'm a fucking dwarf. I'm good with gems. I know how to take what I need off this diamond and not make it worth less than 300 gold. That, it won't be a princess cut anymore. You're a princess cut. Let's go. Let's do this. Okay. I'll hand yeah. my diamond over to Borden and let him take a little bit, uh, a little bit off the top. Yeah, dude, is there something we can just do? Uh, I'm gonna say between an artificer and a battle and a forge cleric. Yeah, this is something that you would be able to handle. Ah, perfect. All right, man. Can you just like crouch for me so I can sprinkle this on your head? Oh, no. And nice. Borden. Oh, yeah. no! <laughs> well, Borden's gonna sprinkle the diamond dust on his head, cast a, and cast Greater Restoration. I thought that wouldn't be a problem since I didn't have hair anymore! <laughs> <laughs> you got the dry head. Okay. Um, yeah. He's gonna, he's gonna rub it into his skeleton face and head and cast Greater Restoration and just see what happens. Okay. Something happens. Oh no! <laughs> um, as you all, cast all the this spell, cut, cut up in his scalp and his blood starts pouring down. <laughs> yes, that. You cast the spell on him, and he reels back from you, clutching at his head. Uh, and you can hear him kind of make these weird gargly like noises as he's like, Aah. uh, and you can see. The what was once just a plain skull is getting like a couple little tendrils of maybe what were flesh just kind of coming through different orifices and uh, making 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 his head look like kind of a more of a leathery mess. Um, the eye sockets that used to just be black eye sockets now have a red glow in there. Uh, and the eyes kind of narrow in their in their sockets towards uh I guess it would be you, Borden. And uh Yeah. 
He stands to his full height, looks across, looks back at Borden, and says, Ah, visitors. Uh, yes. Do, do you remember why we're here? Of course I do. You want the book. Uh, we don't want the books. We simply want to be able to read some of them and then put them back. We don't want to take them. Uh, you are going to see him kind of mutter something under his breath and uh, move his hands around in a spell-casting sort of uh, manner. Mm -hmm. Hey, what are, what are you doing? And then, what am I doing? I don't want anyone listening in, as it were. Good call. I, I listen, they didn't immediately blast us with like fire or something, so I'm pretty sure we're okay. Can I uh, see if he looks like he is being truthful about what he's about to do? Oh, he's already done it. Oh, unless okay. you are stopping him. Unless you counter spell. I mean, if it's done, it's done. Okay. Uh, nothing does. Nothing appears to happen to you. But. Uh, <sighs> He'll kind of look back over the group again and be like, ah, well, that bastard got a little bit of the better of me this time, but I'll be more on my game next time. So for, uh, for safety, I think we should still not call him by his name. Ah, uh, the bastard looks fine. You can't. I can. Strahd can't see me. Mm. Not now anymore. When he says that, Zeth is going to turn around and start looking around, make sure it's... <laughs> and that's when Strad comes out with Isaac's head. <laughs> the game hasn't even started yet. <laughs> um, so, he's going to, looking looking at you all, he'll say, well, what is it that you want? What books are you looking for? Uh, I and my companions might have some things they're looking for. I specifically am looking for any book with information on this blade. And I hold up the handle to the sun sword and say, I know that it is missing a piece. I don't know what, and I need to find out. Um, are you holding out it out to him, like for him to look at or for him to hold and look at? Uh, to look at, but if he reaches, like, um, I try to think, like, how, you know, Lord of the Rings, and when they present the blade to Aragorn, it's just kind of like holding it in two hands. It's like, this is it, you can look at it, but if he reaches for it, I'm also not going to stop him. Okay, uh, he will kind of reach out, and but he won't take it from you, he just kind of runs a bony finger along it, and he says, Sergei's Sunblade. Hmm. Oh. What a... What a fine, magnificent specimen of its kind, although it does appear to be missing its inner light. You don't know how to uh, turn this light back on, do you? Um, I don't, but... And he'll turn towards the bookshelf and kind of sift through and be like, Oh my god, who has been... We work on the Dewey Decimal System here, people. Oh my god! So, uh, this is out of order. Dewey Decimal time. System. And uh, he's gonna pull out a book, and uh, he'll hand it to you and say, "It should be in here, whatever the necessary requirements are." Does, the, does that book have uh, gonna, readable or... words in it? I said, Borden's going to slowly open it and see if he can read it at all? Uh, it is blank. Ah, uh, th so that's the issue. To me, this is blank. Ah, so I suppose I didn't have the wherewithal in my diminished state to remember the command words? Mm. No. Of course You said not. something about glasses. Ah, oh, that little fox had some glasses that I'm sure were able to read the book, but uh, no, you just need to know the command phrase to open the book and read it. Um, and he'll take the book back from you, and he'll say something to it and hand it back, and now it's full of words. What did oh, he say? perfect! Yeah. What did he say? He says that's none of your business. 
Do we not hear him? Uh, he... Give me a perception check. Help. I'll let everybody get in on the perception check. <laughs> so bad. Charlie and Borden want a perception check? Ooh. <laughs> Did it. Yes. <laughs> oh, wait, it accidentally thought that I was in my favorite terrain, so take four out, I guess. Libraries are not your favorite terrain. Yeah, yeah, no, oh. libraries are not. So I, so I don't know, it just did it automatically. Okay. Uh, I all mean, right. that is the whole reason why we came to get you to, because we can't read these. Well, yes, that's sort of my whole deal, is I don't want anyone to take them from here, so I restrict who's able to even glean any information from them. Um, Carly is the only one who will hear what he says before the book opens. And uh, it is Extenter. Extenter. Are you holding I'm gonna pretend it when you do that? No, I'm just going to pretend that I didn't. Like, I'm just going to, like, tell the other guys, like, at a later stage. Okay. Uh, Borden, if you are looking in the book that he gave to you, um, it is a book on uh, various magical weapons. But uh, if you flip to the sun or uh, sunblade section page, uh, it will tell you that the sunblade is powered by a gem that has uh, the life force of a living creature in it. Hmm. Jim has the life force of a living creature. Uh, the lich will take the book and kind of flip through the pages a little bit to be like, yes, you're going to have to sacrifice someone into your gem that is the source of its power. So obviously, Ooh. wasn't it powered at one point? Isn't this gem already in this land somewhere? Oh, I imagine so. Uh, you could probably find it somewhere in uh, the treasure rooms of Castle Ravenloft, would be my guess. Strahd's a bit of a collector. I was kind of hoping we'd have it powered up before we head into there, but... I guess if... You, you think that... A man like that leaves something like this out where just anyone could come across it? Um, so does it mean we can repower it up without getting it from the castle, or no? If you have the fortitude to craft a gem with the sacrifice of a living soul in there, then you can absolutely do it without getting the original gem. Uh, too bad Lucian died, like... 30 weeks ago. Yeah, that's a shame. Hey, Yubi, you want to get into this? I mean, give me a clear no if you don't. <laughs> is, I absolutely want you to sacrifice me to the gem. <laughs> so, we. And it for sure has to be a person? Oh, yes. A sentient, okay. humanoid-ish sort of creature. Yeah, just checking. <laughs> fine, mm. fine print. Mm -hmm. So, do we have to, like, perform a ritual? Oh, yes. The ritual's in here somewhere. And he'll uh, flip to the pages. And, uh, yes, uh, it is a magic ritual that can be done uh, by any sort of caster of an appropriate power level. Um... So, Borden, you would be able to do this um, at, at a forge. You'd be able to basically forge somebody's life from from uh, them into the gem, in your case. 
Is that the Again, only fine, way? Fine, fine to print this. here, but it's got to be a, it's got to be a willing person or any any person we can a, put in. A very slow, creepy smile in the sort of like fleshy texture of his of his face comes across, and he says, "Willings, no more, nowhere in there." Yeah. Well, I don't mean to sound like a baddie, but also we have some. Enemies that are more or less human that we could that may work for this. Just just wanted to throw that out there. I know that sound makes you sound like a bad person, but just throwing that one. Oh. I mean, I there's got to be another way to st- There's no other way to put this sword, turn this sword on. Not to my knowledge. We either steal it from Strahd. Inside which is- check. Give me an inside check. Hmm. What a tricky boy. Twenty. Right, Twenty. Uh, yeah, he appears to be telling you the truth. He is taking a sort of sadistic pleasure in your, uh, in your unwillingness to do this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Doesn't speak for all of us, but um. <laughs> <laughs> all right. At least a couple other people were thinking it. I just said. <laughs> Uh, Rizo doesn't say it's kind of he, he's West Land and like mm, yep I'm, I'm I'm right there with you. He's a he's <laughs> starting to be opposed to it, but let's he's, uh he's let's let, at it. let's play his advocate. Um, how how sentient does it have to be? Can it be livestock, or does it have to be like a person? It needs to be like a person. So be able to talk. A sentient humanoid is the actual wording. So it could have been be some of those freaks and uh I mean some of these beasts that we come across are also technically like humanoid. You're welcome to try whatever you like. Does it say if the thing is successful, we'll know by Next Tuesday? Oh, yeah. Well, it's, <laughs> it's a, a chime or an effect of this. Will it glow brighter? Will it... Will it destroy what we're trying to do? You know, we don't want that to happen. Look, you're going to have to perform this ritual or not. It doesn't matter to me. You're going to... You want a sunblade? This is how you get it. Hmm. Is there any command words? Let's say we get this, we get the gem, we put it in. Is there a power on button? Yes. (laughs) Do you care to share that, or do we have to come back and do this whole party again? Oh, you won't need me at that point. You'll, You'll be in full control of your device once you've properly attuned to it. I mean, if I'm not mistaken, it sounds like you were against him as well. And, uh... I certainly don't care for him. He's stolen several things from this temple. Right, so we are trying to rid this land of him. And I wish you all the best. That's why we are trying to get as much heads heads up on him as we can. I'm going to be yeah. honest with you. The sooner I can kick you out of my temple, the better. I'm certainly going to let you look around the books as long as you're careful. But I don't particularly like having visitors, and I don't particularly like entertaining. So, do you, what do you need? Do you have any magical tomes that will aid us? I'm sure there's something to be gleaned from all of these tomes. Give me uh, something specific that you're trying to accomplish. I'm a librarian. I can figure out what you need from there. I want a book to do with um, some ladies who used to be the, I think, the rulers of this place, or they used to be goddesses here. Ah, the three ladies, yes. From before his time. I'm just gonna Powerful nod. Powerful fey <laughs> goddesses of this land. Uh, yes, and as yes, he's so talking so. to you, he's just sort of talking over his shoulder as he goes to another bookshelf and is looking through them. And uh, he grabs one book 
and says the the phrase over it and hands it to you. And this is a book that's like a um more of a history of the ladies, like who they are and what they represent sort of thing. So you know that you have the uh here, let me pull up the information that you're gonna glean from this book. Uh, you know that they are three, uh, the Swamp, the Lady of the Swamp, the Lady of the Forest, and the Lady of the Mountain. Yes. Um, the ladies each had a shrine in their areas that uh, is where the people would make uh, either sacrifices or prayers or, or worship them there. The, uh, the stone circles that you guys have found are the Swamp and the Forest uh shrines and then the uh mountain shrine appears to be under the tree at yester hill where uh you fought the uh the evil druids right. there. okay so sorry so we found two of them yeah you've actually then, found yeah, all three found you just didn't know that we, you found yeah, we just didn't know okay and then, so, Carly's going to say, okay, but there's some instructions that are quite unclear about how to, you know, work those places. Does it say how to work them? Uh, Extanter will say, sometimes you just have to know how to work it. Um, and he will pull <laughs> another... Carly, boy, oh. we should have seen me in, in this red dress I was given. I was working it then. I'm sure. sure you were. Uh, he is going to take down another book and hand it over to you. Um, and this book is not, not exactly a history. This book is like someone's journal. Um, and it appears to have been someone fairly close to Strahd at some point. And it details, uh, the section that he puts you in details how Strahd uh, defiled the land and defiled the shrines to take the power of the Veins. Um, so within this, you find you find yep yeah, here it is. You find uh, basically instructions almost on how to reconsecrate each of the fanes. Um, it tells you that. It also tells you, uh, actually, in that first book, it tells you that the ladies are immortal. They're impossible to kill. Um, so should their connection to the land ever be severed, they will still be tied to the land. Like, they can't leave. So they are somewhere in Barovia. Um, and you've certainly met one of them. You just didn't realize it until she was leaving. Uh, the one that uh, Baba Lasaga had tied up in her hut. So, well, she could have like given a head head up. Yep, she could have. What you're gonna <laughs> glean from this book is that the mountain shrine, the one under the uh, Gilthias tree, uh, somebody has to get through the. Uh, there's basically a maze underneath. Somebody has to get through the maze to where the actual heart of the tree is and purify it. Um, and how do you purify it? It says that it will become obvious to you. Okay, Brad. Um, no, no, no real information no, no, no. <laughs> on how to do not. it. <laughs> uh, the forest thing is the stone circle by the yeah, windmill. We found that one. Yeah, we found that uh, one, yeah. And in order to uh, reconsecrate that shrine, uh, you will have to um, you will have to defeat and purify the Guardian of the Forest, which is somewhere within the shrine. Uh, and the we kind of like yeah. we kind of like poked around the forest one. You did. Mm -hmm. So how do we summon the Guardian? I don't know. We'll just like talk shit. Out. Okay, fine. We'll, we'll just talk <laughs> shit to the guardian. Yeah, you just talk shit to the guardian and you got it. <laughs> yeah, 100%. 100%.
And uh, what's your name again? Because when the guardian gets, if, if I can't summon the guardian, I'm just gonna, you know, start talking shit about you. So. Who me? <laughs> yeah. Little old me. <laughs> the the little skeleton dude. Oh oh, mm-hmm. my name is Extenter. Uh, oh yeah. I will remember your name. Of course, of course. Uh, um, do you, is there any ancient tomes in here? That would. All these tomes are ancient, my lad. Uh, all right. Now the lady Fita talk. Before, give us before a... we move on, I've actually got one more thing for Carly out of this book. Yeah, I was okay. gonna say I'm missing the mountain. Sorry. <laughs> uh, you're missing the swamp. Um. Oh, sorry, the the swamp. So the swamp. Um. So the swamp one is a little bit interesting in that uh, that was the last place that Strahd was able to take power from um, and Baba Lasaga herself was instrumental in doing it um, the stone circle there uh, you will need to sacrifice Baba Lasaga's own heart to get that um, to get that one purified we have her heart don't we I mean, you killed her. Did you take her heart out? Hmm. I knew that. I, more I, trouble. I, I don't think we would have thought of that on our own. Uh, <laughs> no, that's, you might have to go back into the swamp and see if her body's still there. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. That will go well. Mm-hmm. What's the happened? Um, okay. So that is the bulk of what you're gleaning from that book. So you have a more or less idea of where to go and how to reconsecrate these shrines. And you know that as you do this, it is going to sever Strahd's connection to the land. Which will severely weaken him. Seems like a really good thing. We haven't done any of those, have we? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. No. Shit. What about any information on Castle Ravenloft? Is there any secret entrances? Is there uh, weaknesses to it? Is there treasure rooms? Anything like that would that, that would help bring him down as well? Yeah, any kind of maps for for that place here? Protect your plans. Says it's funny you should mention that because the DM had to redo all of the Castle Ravenloft maps, so none of them are up right now. Uh, I think that one over there uh, was talking to Lady Fedotov and they showed us some things, but uh, it was kind of quick. Fedotovs. The early Fedotovs, one of them was the architect behind the behind the design of Castle Ravenloft and he starts sifting through the books again you can see him every now and then just like moving books around I mean like god damn it this back where it belongs Um, there is a section here while you're looking up this information all these flame skulls and guardians of this place they uh seem to attack first and ask questions later is there any Uh, way to turn them off so we can just not have to deal with them my former colleagues they they won't attack me or the guardians but uh they i'm sorry they will attack you on site um okay uh, hey. He does pull down a book that, uh, when opened up, it is a detailed um, blueprint of Castle Ravenloft. Nice. So, let's say we get... Uh... His his tie is severed, so he's weaker. We get the sword up and running. Where do you... Is there a uh, attack here for best result type of thing? For the castle? I mean, there are many, many secret entrances and exits. 
Whether or not those are weaknesses or traps, well, it all depends on how smart you think Strahd is. The last time we saw him, he was fighting a giant angel thing. Mm -hmm. uh, Extantor will say, Ah, the abbot showed his true form, did he? I believe so. It, he was one thing and he transferred to something else and looked like he was holding his own. Oh, I am certain he wasn't. Not not here, <laughs> not now. Man, if only we had purified those things sooner, he might have had a good chance of winning that fight. Yeah. <clears throat> and maybe if I would just let him pack my wings, I'd know a little bit more. Yeah. Speaking of, <laughs> is there any he books was... on that? Any books on wings? Uh, are you trying to make some? Um, or are you trying... Just... My, my people. Your people. Uh, do I know? Yeah, a ASMR. You're gonna need to be more specific. The ASMR people is. Oh, like, ASMR as a race. Um, yes. I mean, there's certainly books here that might might enlighten you some what uh, what are you what are you looking for um, have any fallen that grew feathers on their wings uh grew feathers that's a new one um, I'll, and i'll pop out my wings uh he seems totally immune to the uh Fear effect, yeah, I figured. To the fear effect, but he does. Uh, uh, I was I was popping him out more for uh, what which RP effect, not actually like. Yeah. To use but them. I believe that's an involuntary thing. Yeah, it is. Um, you're right. Um. So he'll kind of see that your your wings have considerably more actual feathers than they once did um certainly not enough to uh give you a flight or anything like that but uh he's gonna kind of look down your uh your the lines of your wings and say ah oh, fascinating and he'll kind of snap his fingers and a book is gonna pop into his hand and he's gonna start writing things in it uh zeth stop there okay what a catch wait uh, what are you what are you writing Oh, I've never seen anything like this. It needs to be cataloged. It needs to be journaled. And uh, if you look over his shoulder, the the writing is like it's basically like a sentence, and then the sentence disappears into the book. Damn. Do I get to read the sentence before, or just just jotting down the details about it? Uh, yeah, he's just jotting down details about. Uh, kind of where the where the feathers are popping up and he says now when did this start to happen I'm away well, a little bit after i got here a little bit of, oh after you've been here how curious usually upon arriving to barovia you are moving the other direction so this is a normal thing? Oh no. Oh no, this is far from normal. Um, I'll put them away and just like I'm guessing there's no no information on that then. I mean, as of right now, you are the information. Oh. In fact, I'd love to study you for some time. Well, you know, kind of busy. <laughs> <laughs> Got things to do. Maybe we can come back. Yeah, let's go uh, kill. Let's go kill you know who first, and then we'll drop you here as all leave, and he can study you. We'll we'll, we'll see. 
Um, it is at this point that he is going to snap his head up and look around the room and be like, your pale friend, where did he go? The guardians, something is happening. No. Which, which pale friend are we talking about? Well, where did Seth go? Is anyone missing? Guys, oh, where did Seth go? God damn it, Seth. Can I uh, can I run over to the balcony and look down? Did he go uh, down the stairs? Uh, if you run over and look at the balcony, you don't see anything. Oh no. I I was watching Rizo flirt with the with the new creature thing. I didn't see where he went. Did anybody really know where which direction he went to? Does anyone did anyone see him go somewhere? Not fair, I was watching the game. Oh, <laughs> should have been paying attention. <laughs> uh, do I hear any anything different? Is the do I hear anything different or any ideas where uh, Xanter is gonna start running for the stairs. He says, The guardians, the guardians, and he Starts moving down. Follow him. Okay. Yobi, come. <laughs> Yobi says, I'm just going to stand here in the corner. <laughs> just like a dog. Yobi, come. Here, boy, here. <clears throat> Yobi, down. heal. Yeet. Okay, uh, let me move you to an appropriate map. Hey, how far is that drop? Uh, you want to just drop down to the next floor? Well, I'm asking just how far is it? Ooh, excuse uh, me. It is... 20 feet. Yes, 20 feet. Yeah, Borden realizing he's slower than everyone just jumps. Okay, Borden jumps. Superhero landing. I know it's going to hurt a little bit, but I'm looking at my total HP and be like, eh, I'll be okay. Uh, okay, so Borden, you are going to take 9 damage from the fall. Uh, and as this is happening, from somewhere deeper in the temple, you guys hear a big bang, like some, like some, uh, uh, like somebody, like, like a, uh, uh, a big impact has happened somewhere in the uh, in the temple. I'm gonna assume that's where he's at. Um, and I guess this. I, oh, it helps if I put you on the right map and then also move you guys to that map. Oh yeah. That helps. Okay, there you are, somewhere so. to the south of you. Extantor is not very quick. He's moving, but. Uh, being a skeleton will do that to you, I suppose. See blood. I'm going to start stealthing. But that was the blood from the other person that we killed already in this place. I think that was an amber dude. Yeah. The statue, he did not have blood. Mm. Okay, you have heard now uh, several more large impacts. God damn it. You're running a bit too fast because like everyone is way behind your eyes. <laughs> Sorry. Because if you end up in combat, then it's going to take everyone so long to like get there. Okay. Everybody stop where you're at. Oh, no. One, two, three, four. Um, the sounds, the latest ones that you heard were coming from somewhere over here. But don't move yet. Um, okay. Uh. Zeth, go to the secret channel for a minute. Okay. Let's see. Am I in the initiative now? Nope. I'm still not. Okay, well. Fuck me. I don't I... see any <laughs> rolls from you either, actually, so... No, I've I clicked, like, three times. But they were working earlier, because, like, 
Okay, it says I have lost connection to the server, so I would say you're going to get all my roles in the one go when it redoes. It says my foundry has been lost, so. Oh no. Let's see. Sorry. Oh, now it says I have no internet. Amazing. Oh, that's that's even worse. worse. But I'm still on Discord because I'm using the Discord from the phone. But yeah, my my broadband or whatever timed out. So, so we're starting a GoFundMe so that Carly can get better internet and a better, better laptop. I well, think we're I just. Can't get that's what I can't we're just get better internet for sure. I can't get better internet unless I leave this country. So I mean that <laughs> part would be very difficult. <laughs> All right, so the GoFundMe is Irish internet. The good thing is now to get my mom oh, Iron, no. got it. And now it doesn't let me go in as Carly, it has me grayed out. What? Well, because you're already signed because, in? Because it thinks you're still signed in, yeah. yeah so it just... thinks I'm signed in, but I'm not like. Uh, yeah, it definitely shows you as being signed in right now. Um... I can go as Yobi. I'll just go as Yobi. I sure. Think. I'll bring out Yobi's token. And... I I don't know what how else to do it otherwise. Uh, we'll get it figured out. Pretend to be Yobi. You're wearing your Yobi outfit. Yeah. You're wearing Yobi skin. That's Yobi delicious, then. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> There will be none of that. I, I would have went more if I knew the words. <laughs> mm. uh, are we gonna okay. start, we're going to uh, start treating I'm Zach like uh, Yobi. I'm trying to help the party. Uh, mm -hmm. we don't, I, I'm going to sense check that. Okay, it says I have no token selected, but anyway, at least I have Wait. rolled. You're back in as you. What? So confused. No, because no, because actually it says Carly Warden, but I'm actually rolling as Lucian, so like the token will be Lucian. So, uh, or Yobi or so you didn't whatever. select the yeah. token, um, so I'm just gonna put you in. Yeah, but I can't. I don't have any vision. Like I can't uh, see any token that that I can like use. So I don't know where my that's token right is supposed here. to be. Where? I'm pinging where it's I can't at. see anything. I oh, know, I can't see anything right there. Okay. Carly <laughs> is just going to be theater of the mind for right now. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so I'm going to put you in the turn order uh, with your initiative of 21, and we'll just go from there. Uh, update combatant. Yeah, order. so tell me what you can see, because I can't see anything. Okay, so from where you're at, you can't really see anything yet. Um, oh, great. But, um, so, uh, I guess we'll begin. Uh, so, Rizo, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give you all more vision for just... I was going to say, this place lit up, or...? Um, yeah, that's sort of the thing of it, is it's not lit up, but I need you to be able to see right now, so it is lit up because I say so. Oh, okay. So you should now be able to see into that room. Like you should just barely be able to see Zeth from where you're yep. at. Yep. Okay. Um, and then Polly, let's give you some extra vision. And Borden, some extra vision. Okay. There we go. Uh, so, Rizo, you come around the corner, and uh, you see Zeth swinging his Morningstar into this big amber chunk here. Um, and Zeth, before we actually get going here, give me one more attack on it. And then we'll be in mission <clears throat> order. Ah! Okay. So, Zeth... <laughs> somehow manages to completely miss this thing. It's almost like his body is is being a little bit jerky, like it's not quite smooth in action like it normally is. Uh, Rizo, what do you want to do? I'm going to use all my movement 
30, 60. And I'll actually use burn my action to get just enough. And I'm just yell stop. Zeth, stop. Okay. Uh Carly, you can hear uh you can hear uh, fucking lost your name for a second there. Rizo yelling at Zeth around the corner, but you can actually see. Um so do you want to step around the corner? Car Carly. Did we lose Carly? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Uh, uh I'm still trying to figure this out. <laughs> um okay. yeah, I'll step around the corner. Carly, you step into the hallway and you can see to the south of you is a room that uh the door, the big amber door has been broken off and you can see Zeth swinging his morning star at one of those big amber blocks. Uh, and you can see Rizo standing next to him I'm yelling at him to stop. Uh, you have used 25 feet of your movement to get to where you're at. Um, so you can either, you can take another five feet, I guess, to get down, and then you can either dash to get into the room, or you can do something else with your action. You do see in this hallway with you are two amber guardians, like the one you fought in the treasure room, but neither of them appear to be hostile. Okay, Carly's going to dash to get next to Ryzo and be like, what's going on? Uh, you can't Are get next to things? Ryzo. You can get next okay. to one of the uh, Amber Golems. Um, so you're still about 15 feet from the room. And how far are you from Ryzo? You're about that's 40 fine. feet from Ryzo. Okay, that's fine. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Um, yeah, happen? Carly's going to be like, what's up, Ryzo? And where did you go with that? Rizo, do you have a response? <laughs> Rizo's footballing. Uh, so that may bring us to Polly. <sighs> All right. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take my take my thirty feet. You count thirty feet and then um sorry let me measure God damn here we go uh oh shoot he's just out of reach um shoot i thought i could get a little bit closer um damn shoot sorry oh, i should have measured first um, bah, 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 bah. well, and then I could go 30 feet. Okay. Um, I can conjure it. Okay. Shot a creature within 30 feet of it. Okay. I think it'll work. Um, I'm going to cast, um, grasping vine. Okay. So I'd like to cast it up here so you can see it uh i'd like to put it 30 feet from me so like right on the other side of this golem like right here i don't know if it's pinging or not right there right there and then oh shoot he's just out of range um Yeah, I, I'd, and then I'd like to get ready to, because um, it can only grasp another 30 feet from that, and it can't quite get it to Zeth, but um, I'll just cast it there and have it ready to to grab either Rizo or um, uh, grab this golem if it comes to life. Okay. Uh, is that it for Polly's turn? Is it for me. Okay, uh, Zeth, uh, you've got Rizo right behind you telling you to stop, uh, but otherwise everything is the same. Mm, still oblivious to what's going on around him. He's just going to take a deep breath. Help me help you. Let me finish my task. And I'm just going to strike that amber again. Okay. 
14. Wow. You are really rolling like <laughs> hot garbage. Um, 13 is enough to connect, though, so go ahead and give me a damage roll. I still have that uh, magic weapon on it. Okay. I mean, just plus one's it. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's at nine. So nine. Okay. Um, you and also Rizo can see when you make contact... The... I, put a, I put a first level uh, Divine, divine Smite into it as well. Ooh, okay, give yeah. me that damage. Jesus Christ! Stop it! <laughs> uh, where's my eight? Fifteen points Ooh. of radiant. Okay, so uh, Rizo, and now actually everyone's going to be able to see this. Um, the Morning Star connects with the Amber pretty solidly, and you can just see that radiant energy. Or necrotic, is it yours necrotic or is it still radiant? radiant? Yeah. Uh, you can see that radiant energy burst from within uh, Zeth through his arm into the thing, and you can see this little burst of energy. And the amber spider webs and cracks out, but it is still mostly holding together. Um, but you can tell that this is very nearly about to burst open. Rizo, or uh, Zeth. Is... Oh, actually, I would have a second swing. I didn't mean to hit that end button. Okay. But yeah, I would definitely uh, swing again. Swing again. 14. Okay, give me that damage roll. And I put another first level divine smite into it. Okay. <laughs> Eight. Ooh, is that enough? So. Emmett, Yobi 2.0, stop it. <laughs> that's. So 16 yeah, that's what, total, or is that uh, 17? 17, total? yeah. Because I uh, can't add the magic weapon onto it. Okay. The amber. Pieces of it are falling off, and at this point, Rizo, it has gotten the impact site has gotten thin enough that you can see inside some uh, swirling black mist just kind of dancing around inside the. Not uh, good, not good, not good. Inside the amber. Well. But it is still holding, mm. like, barely. <laughs> uh, Borden, what you got? Uh, you are muted if you're talking, Warden. Uh, yep. That, that'll do it. Um, I don't think I can actually see them. Oh, no. If I, like, move back and stand there instead. Oh, there they are. Um, let me see how far I am and then I'll tell you what I do. Um, so is that, is that, uh, Guardian alive or just dead? Or is it still inanimate? Um, it is animate. It is not moving or being hostile. Animate not moving or being hostile. Okay. Like, you can see their heads, both of them, are looking to the south. But neither of them are moving, like, towards anyone. Mm-hmm. It's just out of range. Almost like this temple was designed this way. <laughs> well, it would help if I could, like, if I could move a full 30 feet. That'd be nice, but I can't. I can only move 25. Move them little legs. Um. Ah, here we go. The area inside there is, this is all stone, correct? All in here? 
What's that? All the everything in here is all like stone. Yes. Are there broken pieces or is it a solid piece? Uh, there are a bunch of broken pieces off this one on the floor now, because Zeth has been smacking it with his morning star. Um. Okay. I am going to cast the spell Fabricate on the Broken Shards of Amber and use the Broken Shards to remake a wall that goes in the main shard. So you are going to try and fabricate the pieces on the ground into a wall between Zeth and the uh, Amber block. Specifically the part that he's been striking over and over again, yeah. Okay. I can also just do it with a stone if that's easier for you. I you just thought. You can do it with what? I can do it with the stone that the building is made up of as well, but I just thought the amber would be cool. Okay. No, no, that's fine. I'm just uh, I'm just making sense of what's happening in my head here. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, that will bring us to the end. Uh, is that it for Borden, actually? Um. Yes. Let me quickly... Read to do to do to do five foot cubes and sufficient material. you yes, and yeah, that's it. There's just a wall of amber between him and his goal now. Okay, that will bring us to the end of the round, and uh, Exanter will come up and he'll start yelling, Stop him! It cannot be released! It cannot be released! And that will bring us back to the top of the round and Rizo. Sorry, buddy. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of being betrayed by my own party. Man. Uh, okay. <laughs> Roll that damage. He's not You're not messing around now, man. Yeah. Are you going to be able to pull sneak attack out of this? Oh no, I would not have sneak because I do not go have advantage. I mean, a friendly target is within five feet of him. Is it still <laughs> considered friendly at this point? Since you're not listening and you seems like your eyes are glossed over a little bit. That's a DM rolling. I mean, I'm I'm not. I I'm actually file. gonna give it to you because Zeth is pretty. Focused on what he's doing and not paying attention to external. So he would attack. technically be surprised. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna say you can have your sneak attack on that. Uh, so what is your total here? <laughs> yeah. Uh, that is the total. No, no, so no, no. It, wow, it should be higher. Yeah, because you get your. So take out all that critical damage, so the normal damage of 26. Oh, plus... yeah, sorry. I'm used to my Monday game where he doesn't do that. Uh, we yeah, all got so them that's... crunchy criticals. Yeah, that's that's math. Hold on. That's math. Oh, God. I got to get a calculator out. Hold on. Oh. <sighs> By my calculations, it's 72. I accept that. And I, not knowing I was going to be getting a crit, I was going to do my poison thing. Yes. Yeah, what's, your, <laughs> what's your sneak damage Go five on. up to? Uh, huh? He's a 66 for a sneak attack. Oh, yeah. So I'm getting a total of 72. But if we're attacking poison onto this... I wasn't wanting to? I do what you gotta do. I'm not paying attention. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was gonna do poison just to try to poison him. Okay. To get him to stop hitting the shit. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. I'm like looking at my health and I'm like, he's... He's not much more. I don't want to kill him. Tired is going to be like, oh yeah, don't worry. I I can sort this out. My turn. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay. So that is going to be an additional since that con is save being first. tacked on. Oh, yeah. Please make a con save. Yeah. Would that, uh, would that be an extra 16 as well? Yeah. Yeah. That's part of the Damn. critical. <laughs> oh, okay. Awesome. But, so does he take half or does he take any damage from the poison if he saves? Oh. Or take 2d8 and become poison. Okay. It's, it's yeah, it says or yeah, it's all or nothing, so he doesn't take that at all. Okay. So still just 72 damage. Yep. Just. And my Bonus action. Bam. <laughs> uh, no, I'm going to, like, just... I know I can't grapple him, but I'm just going to, like, try to, like, turn him. Like, him to st do whatever I can to, like, make him stop. Just yell, stop. Okay, you can yell... Cause, yeah, you'd need an action to make an athletics check to actually try and turn yeah, him around. Yeah, I figured. Uh, I mean, I'm weak as shit anyways. I wouldn't be able to do it. So I'm, I'm really not a strong character. So yeah, that, not Negative that. one, sir. I have a eight to my strength. Okay, is that it for Ryzo? Yeah, that'll, that'll do it. Okay, Zeth, you're, you're making headway on this amber, and then all of a sudden you see some of the stuff from the amber from the ground build up in front of you, blocking your hit, okay. and then you feel a lot of pain in your back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it just was 72, right? There was no extra for that? Nope, it was just 72. Okay. Yeah, just 72 <laughs> damage. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Part of it's necrotic. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, th there is necrotic. Are you... So eight, eight of that is necrotic, so you would resist... So you would four take... back? Yeah, yeah, get four back. Okay. Okay. Charlie's going to be like, I am so fucking confused, and she's going to cast... The... Sanctuary on the thing, if it works. Is that thing a creature? Ooh. Ooh. What are you Can casting it on? On the... This guy, like the amber dude. Oh, I'm down here. Yeah, he's he's at the bottom hitting one of yeah, those he's, ambers. He's attacking this thing. <clears throat> Remember oh, the one right. that... Uh, I can't even see it. Yobi was freaking out. When he broke it, it was like, oh my god, that shit's yeah. pure evil. Don't touch it. Uh, yeah, 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 that's yeah. that's what he's so, trying to break. Okay. Fine, I'm going to ward that that thing then. I like that. <laughs> is um, that a creature? I mean, it yeah. is not a Thank creature. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, never mind then. I can't give a sanctuary then. Can I do... Mm. So can I... Could I do like rope trick and then wrestle him into the rope place? Does rope trick cost an action? Yeah. So yeah, you would not be able, you could cast rope rope trick and then on your next turn you could do that. But yeah. you wouldn't be able to do both in the same turn. I'm going to be like someone throw him in here. Okay. So I he's mean, very hurt. So I could just like put him down. I'm just gonna Borden's, put him down. Yeah, Borden's probably strong enough, but Borden's pretty far away. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'm just gonna put him down. So all. Yep. all right. I kind of liked you, so. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just gonna hit him. Zeth does a 19 hit. Uh, 19 is just enough. Okay. With my I'll. I'll use my bonus action to put in the fucking hunter's mark as well. So. <laughs> gonna hunter's mark him, okay. Uh, he is marked. Okay. That's eight. And then I'm gonna do that again. How much okay. life do you have? I'm about. I'm about pretty hurt now. But I still... I'm about pretty hurt. <laughs> Gus pretty hurt after taking 70-something points of damage. I'm still standing. I could take, you know, not that full uh, uh, entourage again, but yeah, I'm right now I'm at 30. I was like, damn, I have 80. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't think that 18... Be down, no, 18 doesn't hit. Oh, shit. Okay, never mind. Okay, yeah. is that it for Carly? Yeah. Two attacks and a bonus action? Yeah. 
All right, that yep. is going to bring us to Polly. Okay, so you have. <laughs> hey, there you go. So you you have that rope trick up, right? So. No, she did not no, end up I casting. No, I didn't do it. Because like didn't. the only person, who, no, the the only person that could have wrestled him was Borden. Borden was really far away, so I just didn't do it. That is fine. Um, shoot, I'm just trying to figure out if I would realize. Does it appear that he is under? A, I mean, I've he's been stabbed in the back. He's been hit with arrows, and he's still swinging at this thing. It appears that he is under some kind of spell. So he has not taken a swing on it since he's taken damage. Um, I mean, technically, it also hasn't been his turn, but right. Um, so <laughs> yeah. if you wanted, you could use your action to make a check to try and determine that information. But that's not mm -hmm. something that, from where you're at, you're just gonna know. Just gonna know. Perfect. Um, but yeah, you could either use your action to make an Arcana check or. Maybe a medicine check to see if you think that he's acting in a way that he would be like under somebody else's control. If you wanted to do that instead of your action, yeah. Or or I could just you know hit him. Or you could just hit him. Uh -huh. Just hit him. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go thirty. Um, probably could get here and see me. They'd like curve around. Yeah, can I like dash around, get around this yeah. guy? I mean, that's the same distance. Yeah, you just skirt around him. Skirt, skirt around the big amber guy. Um, okay. God, I'm gonna take a whole action. I don't know if I'm smart enough to realize that's what he's doing, or he's just being crazy. We've. The last time we encountered these things, it didn't necessarily seem to take him. All right, I'm I'm just I'm a polymorph death. What are you into... gonna polymorph the death into? What T Rex? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna polymorph him into a snail. Okay. No, uh, just a little snail. <laughs> what's the save DC on that? Wisdom save. Wisdom 16. All right, Zeth. Make a wisdom mm -hmm. saving. You know he's good at these. One, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was That's Zeth. one of the special I was kind of hoping it was charisma, that plus 15. <laughs> you have a plus 15? Jesus. I do. <laughs> I, knew his, I knew the wisdom one was high, so I didn't. I was afraid So that don't banish him. It won't work. <laughs> Not with that attitude. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Is that it for Polly? Uh, yeah, uh, and the vine drops because I had concentration on uh, on polymorph. Um, so that drops, and then do I want to do? Can I do anything else? Um, um, no, that's it. Shit! Okay. Thought that would work. Sorry. Oh. Okay, Zeth, it is your turn. Now, Zeth, given what you know about your situation, you have just taken a ton of damage, and also uh, a little amber wall has, has barricaded itself in front of the place you've been hitting on the thing. So, like, what do you want to do? So, I'll, I'll explain my reasoning for this one. I've been rolling just straight-up intelligence checks, and I haven't got over a 10. So, okay. I'm going to keep swinging at this amber... Um, would I be swinging at disadvantage then because there's an extra wall? Uh, no, you're going to have to break through that wall in order to get to the spot you've been hitting. Okay. So I'm going to um, go for that first, I guess. Yeah. Um, before you do, Borden, can you link <laughs> Fabricate for me real quick? Borden. I can. Yeah. I'm in the middle of doing that. Hang on. Uh, fabricate. Okay. Um, fabricate if you know what we need. 
spell is commensurate with the quality of the materials. Okay, so it's basically just a smaller piece of regular amber, then. Okay. Uh, you rolled a 16. That is going to hit. Roll me that damage. Remember, I still have, it's plus one for all these. So 13. Uh, 13. So, an amber. Okay. Uh, Borden's little wall is. Does it still have time to change it? Just a second. Okay, yeah, Borden's little wall is still up, but it is almost like you you put a pretty big dent in it. Is it too late to put a smite in it? Nope. All right, I'll throw the first level on that. Okay, roll it. Uh, six points of radio. All right, Borden's little wall shatters. And you have a nice clear shot at the spot you've been going for. So close. I'm almost there. <laughs> a 15? 15's gonna hit. I'm oh, damn it. Uh, 13, and I'll throw a second level smite into it. Alright, uh, with that, you're not gonna have to do any math here. Uh, Borden, you're the head of your Morningstar star punches through into Morning. the void or <laughs> Zeth rather Zeth's Morningstar head punches through this amber into a void that was within and this black smoky like mist just kind of erupts out of it and envelops Zeth's body Damn. Um, Zeth cool. starts bleeding from every orifice Eyes, ears, nose, mouth, blood just starting to pour out. Uh, Zeth, you don't actually take any damage from this, but uh, you are losing control of your body. Okay. Um, and I'm going to send you a quick message. Oh, that's not you. That's you. Uh, Zeth, actually, before we do anything else, make me a... Um, wisdom save. Wisdom save. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Okay. Of course, that one you don't pass <laughs> with a shit ton. Great. Cool. Okay, so let me send this to Zeth real quick. Hey, Matt. Was Hello. This, was this you trying to switch characters again? No. <laughs> but. Uh... I'm just making sure before I kill you. Hey, you do what you gotta do. I am trying to uh, listen to the voices in my head. You should probably not. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> They're never good. Oh, I like Zeph. I, I don't really want to switch, but... <laughs> okay. Uh, Zeth crumples to the ground. Okay. I was not actually totally prepared for this eventuality, so one moment while I look at uh, the actual specifics of this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're in regular-ass combat for a moment here. Uh, Zeth made his wisdom save Ooh. and 16. Oh, no, no, like you, you rolled it. Oh. Um... <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, peasant, you didn't. You that's it, that's it. Much lower than you, what you did. You, you didn't win. <laughs> um, okay. Come on, you move already... to 16 and think you won. Sit down. You have already taken your two actions. So there's nothing else you're going to do this turn. Uh, Borden, you are up. Oh, boy. Oh. 
Um, <laughs> I b -b 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 read in my spells. Mike's gonna be so jealous that he's not the one that betrayed the party. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I mean, he's already done it pretty much twice. <laughs> uh, this. He just loves betraying the party. <laughs> wow. So he's just over there, you know, doing his thing, bleeding out everywhere. I feel like Yobi would have done shot him like eight, <laughs> eight times, too. Oh, 100%. Um... Yobi's all about that murder. Here's a peace offer. I don't trust Yet, you. When he, you know what's funny? Like, he said he came in when he's like, no, no, you guys are going to like Yobi. He's super nice. I want to murder everything. <laughs> you guys yeah. don't want murder? That's weird. But he's super nice. And <laughs> until you cross his path and he wants to murder you. Until then. Hartman, you're not being nice. You're wearing a nice sweater. <laughs> I don't understand the difference. <laughs> I need them to make a deck save. Deck you save. need Zeth to make a deck save. Go I ahead. need Zeth to make a deck save. Uh, 21. Actually, wow. you're going to roll it at disadvantage, given your situation. All right. New number. 10. Perfect. You fail. Wow, your dex is really high, though. Do you have a save that's not really high? My dex. The paladin, so no. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My intelligence, they're both a plus five. So I no. Say, I was going to say, I think the lowest are higher than our lowest. Um, yeah. Probably should check to make sure it has a range. Oh, just barely. Perfect. <laughs> you take radiant damage. Take flame. Okay. Sacred flame on you. Ooh. Almost 18. there. Wow, 18 damage. Well, Standing? Question mark? <laughs> oh, baby, boom. oh, oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Zeth, you got hit points back when the thing no. got into you. Uh, okay. Um, you got... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You got... Okay, plus... Yeah, plus 10. Okay, you got 45 HP back. Nice. 45. 45. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then you took 18 damage from Borden. Right. Okay. Back up to just bloody. <laughs> okay. Uh, Borden, is that it for your turn? Yep. Okay, that will bring us... Uh, before we get to Rizo, uh, actually, no, we'll just go straight to Rizo. Rizo, what are you doing? Rizo. Sorry, I about threw my headset off. We just scored. Yay! Okay. Uh, I will dip my dagger into one of my pouches, now seeing what has happened, and coat it with a certain poison. And... 47 definitely hits. Uh, shit, I didn't turn my sneak attack off, so... Line three... God, it's such good damage, too. That's common. That's just mm, 10, then? Nope. Well, it'll be 12, but he resists the necrotic. So, yeah. Yeah. Plus an additional 7 poison damage. Uh, roll, a, roll a con save. Oh, DC right. 17. You did bad on your, uh, oh, on your poison. God <laughs> damn it! Jeez <laughs> Louise. So that means he doesn't take any of that then? Yeah. Okay. Just check it. Wait. Creature subject to white lotus poison must be like it's Yeah. He's just... dead yeah, always just two two D ten damage. It's not a Okay. Uh How long that does that last though? There's no is it 
doesn't say if it's a one time and done or if it's a um it follows normal poison rules so it lasts for a minute or until you hit oh is it a minute until you hit or until you hit yeah do i get one usage out of it or yeah so you, once you once you've hit with it so since your attack made contact the poison is now gone from the blade okay i just want to make sure mm-hmm. uh, is that uh, it for yeah. yes that'll be it all right carly you are about 15 feet away from zeth who is looking around with his bloody face and is being attacked by rizo and you're muted by the way yeah, no, I'm unmuted now, right? Um, I'm just do- I'm joining again you, because I had to like re. Yeah, can you hear me? No, I'm just quiet. No, <laughs> oh. I was like, fuck. I was like, I keep having this fucking Wi-Fi issues. Yeah, so I basically given up on using my Wi-Fi, and I'm now hotspotting from my work phone, and work can suck it. Um, so so I still can't like see anything because I spent the whole time doing this. But I am gonna shoot. I am going to shoot that because i don't at this stage i just kind of i'm just invested in shooting him so you know That's what i'm talking about <laughs> at this point i'm just gonna do it <laughs> <laughs> i mean at this point it's like okay he freed home. up this black thing smoke and then the smoke got into him so like i assume he's a bad guy now so can we just throw salt on him <laughs> can we i don't have any like i have spells Mending. Would mending do it? No. Okay. Yeah. I am just going to shoot. Did it work? No, okay, that's a natural eight. one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Well. Okay, goes so how it no- goes. First the Wi-Fi, then this. It's okay. We're going to okay. start that GoFundMe to fly Carly <laughs> to the States for Sundays. Ooh, just holy shit. Play. There you go. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Not Teddy. There we go. Ooh, All right. There it goes. So that is going to be six plus seven is 11 plus your hunter's mark. Yeah, which I'm running now. So, so plus another 11. So 22 total damage out of that. Oh, okay. I'm still standing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I'm shooting you. Oh, damn you. <laughs> I don't hit. Seven. So you're still standing. But hopefully not for long. Okay. Is that it for Carly? Yeah. All right. Polly, you are back up. All right. The, 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 we did see the black smoke go into... To Zeth. Zeth. Yes. Now he's pouring blood. Okay. Uh, I'm going to cast. I'm going to cast Dispel Magic on him. Uh, link Dispel Magic for me. I'm pretty sure that it is not going to do anything, but I want to be double check. No, helps if I double click. Uh, no, it went. I got it. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna say dispel magic does not have does not have an effect on this. Okay. Just. Needed to try. Okay. Um, that is my action. Um, and then I'm going to these two golems haven't done anything since that's been released, have they? They are just hanging out. I don't want to go all the way in the room. Um gonna stop there at that door um uh yeah can i as like a bonus action or free action or something can i like yell at xanther and just be like a little bit more detail on this thing would be great Uh, xanther will do that on his turn at the end of the round 
Um, it? It, it's for Polly. Okay, Zeth, make me another wisdom save. All right. Fifteen. Okay. Uh, Zeth is going to regain 36 HP. Nice. What the shit? <laughs> and you are going to attack Rizo. All right. Realizing I'm not a tank. What am I doing? Oh, it's a, <laughs> it's a net one. It's yeah. Stuff confusion. Uh, and Why since you have two attacks, oh, you almost accepted it. God. Does a 14 hit Rizo? I don't. Think no, it does not. Okay. So I think 16 is the number. Do I have any control of myself? Not at the moment. All right. Uh, let's see. I mean, for... I do have spiritual weapon if I really want to throw that out as a bonus action. Uh, I'm <laughs> actually what I should do is say, all right, you are attacking your party right now to the best of your ability. I mean, if that's in the case, I would throw of... out a spiritual weapon. There it is. <laughs> uh, yep, that's gonna hit Rizo. It's a 19 <laughs> on a die. For eight Rizo, points. Rizo, you of... took eight force damage. Who? You did. Oh. <laughs> Rizo has taken eight force damage. Uh, and that will bring us to Borden. 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 I don't hear snoring, so I don't think he fell asleep. Unless he muted himself. Yeah, yeah that's right. Got people arguing outside, so I keep muting. Oh. And, then, and then I keep forgetting that I'm muted. And then have a yelling match with the DN. I'm like, what? What do you want? I'm right here. But then, I'm talking to stop yelling at me. Um, so we're just gonna since, <coughs> since I guess we're just gonna kill him. Yeah, uh, I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm trying, so, trying to get it out, but that did not uh, work well. I'm gonna yell, Rizzo, Rizzo, whatever you do, stop dying. And cast Shield of Faith on him. <laughs> Thanks. Shield of Faith on Rizo. So plus two to your AC. Yeah. Ooh, 17 is my AC. So now it's 19. Okay. Nice. You're almost as buff as me, but not quite. Almost. So buff. Yay, buffness. You're only four points off. It's not bad. Yeah. Is that a rogue? It's pretty good. Uh, let's see, I move. That was a bonus action. I don't think Borden has any ranged weapons, but let me very quickly check. Nah, he doesn't, because of course he doesn't. Already. Um, uh, that's it. Flame again. No, because I already cast a spell, and that's a... Oh, no, I can't, actually. Yeah, because Sacred Flame cool. is a cantrip, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're, you know what? You're bright. Make me a deck saving throw. Eleven. That's a fail. Burn, baby, burn. Disco inferno, yeah. <laughs> Not the best damage, but fourteen. Alright. Alright, that will bring us to the end of the round, and Extanter is going to come up and he'll say look into the room and kind of quickly do some like cataloging in his head and he'll say the wounded it is a dark power is within him he's either got to control it or we've got to get it out of him any ideas on that i tried already i mean my deal went a lot smoother than this so no <laughs> uh and that will bring us back to the top of the round and rizo Oh, okay. A bonus action, dip the dagger, try again. 
You can do it. Nineteen will hit. 19. Again, no. No. Sneak. I got. I got to turn that off. My bad. So nine piercing and two necrotic, and then Constitution saving throw, sir. Thirty twenty. Yep. yep. Seventeen is the DC. That will do it. Okay, uh, Carly, uh, you are still in the same orientation you were before, so about fifteen feet from Zeth. Oh, is Carly muted? Yes. Yes, she is. <laughs> um, so she's gonna shoot. She's gonna shoot Zeth. Okay. Only way I know how to get the evil out of him. Sorry, Zeth. If you can hear me, I don't hate you. But I'm still going to shoot you. Ooh. I only hate you a little bit. I mean, I hit, but still up. Yeah, one second. I'm doing your hunter's mark. Um, then I'm going to shoot you again. But it's mm. not going to hit. Nope. I'm going to shoot you third time, and this time it's going to hit. No, no it's not, actually, because he has a 19. Never mind. Okay, well, it's kind of useless. Sorry. And that's my turn. Okay. That will bring us to Polly. Oh, I've I've tried to do this non, non-lethally, and that's good. Um... Uh, does that does that wear metal armor? Right. That's right. It's mithril. Um, mithril is metal. I can heat metal on his armor. You sure can. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to cast heat metal at Zeth on Zeth's uh, on his armor. Okay, roll that damage. Hey. Forget there's no save right there. Oh. There you go. Eleven. Ooh. So okay. close. So fire damage. Um, yeah. And then um that's that's it for me. Okay. Uh yeah, I'm gonna i I'm gonna stay where I'm at. Okay. In that case, Seth, make me another wisdom save. Ooh, there you go. Twenty nine. Okay, Zeth. There you um, go. Let's see. Zeth, you are in your mm. mind wrestling for control of your body with this entity. Mm-hmm. Um, and you, it has certainly had the upper hand on you this entire time. Uh, but you are able to kind of focus your energy and like get control of yourself and of this thing in your head. And uh, yeah, you are now in full control of your body, and I am sending you something. (laughs) Okay. So, Zeth, what do you want to do? Um... Fuck! Oh, I am. I'm at a loss for what I want to do. Um, you don't have control over me anymore. Get out! I don't want to hurt my party, my friends, my family. Get out! Are you gonna try, try and force it out of you? Yes. Um. Okay. So in that case, I'm gonna say this would be a charisma save. Okay. To try it. The wisdom was to get control, and the charisma is to make it do what you want. Okay. So give me a charisma save. Twenty nine. Twenty nine, and then he is gonna contest with his own charisma save. Sorry, 
guess it would be a charisma check. Uh, okay. Um, Zeth collapses to his knees, and this black mist just starts to pour out of him, uh, coming out at eyes, ears, nose, mouth, along with all this blood. Um, uh, Zeth, in your head, this is going to happen. Okay, so Zeth, as this entity is exiting your body, um, you're basically oh. starting to die, um, and rather than heal, it is going to do this, what it was healing, in damage. Sure. So you are going to take... 39 necrotic, or not necrotic, uh, you were going to take 39, uh, God, what would this even be? Uh, brain damage? Psychic uh, damage, psychic, I guess? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> you take brain damage. <laughs> Lost it there for a minute. Um, does that put you at zero? Yes. Okay. So, in that case, Zeth collapses as this is coming out of him. You all can see that these little tendrils are pulling a little, uh, almost corporeal ball of light out of Zeth's body. Hmm. And we're going to consider ourselves out of combat as far as turn order goes here. Do any of you guys want to do something about this? Yes. I have that. What? What? Not fine. <laughs> Why would you step Zeth? He's dead. <laughs> you have anything to contain this little ball of light, anybody? That it seems bad. Hey, quick question, DM. Make it quick. Uh, how long does that ritual to put something in the glass take? Uh, it takes some hours, and you need some specialized equipment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right then. Anyway, we do. Can someone heal Gordon? I will. I don't see anyone sort of cast a spell to heal Borden. I'm going to pull To heal Borden? Jesus, why are you healing Borden? Uh, Zap. Uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, cast uh, Healing Word on Zap. Okay, go ahead and cast it. I do it at. Something I never thought I'd say ever in my life. Um, I'm going to do it at the third level. Oh. Wow. <laughs> what is that? Wow. What is that? <laughs> You're amazing, honestly. Uh, okay. So, you guys can see the uh, wounds on Zeth's body heal up, but that does not bring what you would presumably assume to be his soul back into his body. This thing is still trying to tear it out of him. Oh, okay. Oh, jeez. Uh, okay. So, do I take those hit hey. points, or...? <laughs> you do, but you are still unconscious. Okay. Um, skeleton guy. I can't, what was it? I can't remember his name. Xanter. Xanter! Do not... something. I mean, I can try and contain it. Uh... <laughs> How do we get our buddy back? I could look at the Lich spell list real quick and see if there's something on there. <laughs> I like I don't have I don't have anything that will work. Does anyone have reviv revivify? I revivify. Uh, Question: yeah. Can we grab the soul? We don't just want to like grab it. Yeah, we do. Have anything to grab it with? Well, I don't know. I'm just asking because it's ripped out. Can we grab it, or can we just pass through it? You see, Xanther going uh, finger of death. No, uh, <laughs> disintegrate. No. Uh, uh, what is it? 
Since no one else is doing shit, apparently, we're just gonna run up and try to touch the mist or the soul. Either one. Probably the soul. Carly, can is, you... Is it incorporeal? Can um, I? Well, I would assume so, but there's always the chance that... Waiting. What What oh. exactly are you trying to touch, Borden? The soul. The, the orb that's being pulled out of... Uh... That, that was a very weird sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to being a DM. <laughs> what are you trying um, to touch? So the ball? I want to touch ball, the ball. The ball that you're trying to fondle is not... <laughs> um, is not super Favorite corporeal. <laughs> um, Borden, it, like... Uh, like, you can tell that there's some sort of substance to it, but your hand just sort of passes through. You can't grab it. Didn't give you that. consent. Uh, can you do a medicine you guys, check? Or you guys you are running out of time him? here. Can you medic him? Do something? Zeth's, I don't know. Death soul I'm hangs in the balance. Cure wound them and to be like, come back, dude. No, not. Oh, I was oh uh, yeah. Can I Can I run up and can I try and, like, would revivify work? Do I get any idea if revivify will work? Link revivify for me. I don't think so. I don't think anything really says soul. I start no. swinging at the orb of oh, yeah. stuff. Uh, Xanth Xanther is going to be like, I don't really have anything that's going to work for this. Can't somebody, like, bind it or banish it or something? You son of a bitch, why didn't you say so earlier? <laughs> <laughs> banish my soul. <laughs> well, I was gonna banish the thing trying to steal your soul, actually, but do do it. Just point the miss and go, fuck you, go away, banish. What is your spell save DC? Fifteen. And what kind of a save is this? Charisma. Charisma. Oh, great fumble. So oh, I don't know what's, that your, what's your DC? 15. 14. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, just fuck you, go, give me my friend's soul back, you bitch. Uh, it poofs, and Zeth's soul returns to his body. Xanther is him. then going to kind of go into a little bit of a panic, and he'll say, okay, Okay, that's only gonna work for a little bit here. We need to bind it when it comes back. Does anyone have bind a... it how? Yeah, how do you bind a soul? Okay, we trapped them in these. I mean, I was not exactly my specialty. It was not, but uh, I... all right. How long can you keep it in in it? Because it can't go anywhere. Because we're in Barovia, the soul the things can't escape from here. It's going to come back. Uh, how long can you hold it? Uh, it's gone for a minute. Oh, uh, he's gonna reach into his robe and poof out a book, and you can see that like the book just sort of appears in the pocket, and he's like starts flipping through the pages, and he says, "Oh, damn it, Zintari! Oh, your fucking notes are everywhere." <laughs> okay, uh, okay, we're gonna do the, we're gonna come up to the the temple, the sarcophagus. We're gonna, yeah. Okay, C can you choose where it comes back, or does it come back in the same space that you'd left that you made it leave? Comes back right there. Comes back right there. Okay. Uh, all right. I need somebody to help me move this amber uh, sarcophagus to where it's going to come back from. Uh, I do the. Uh, I'm going to help move, but I'm so weak. I'm just going to stand there. I got it. Borden's going to run over there and push. Anybody, anybody who's to trying to move it, give me an athletics check. Zeth back yeah. up on his feet or not? Zeth is still unconscious. That but is, stay, that but stay real high. Okay. Anybody else getting in on it? I don't even know if mine went through or not because I think my internet is fucked again. Uh, yes. I don't see it. What did you roll? Yeah, it says I have lost connection, so I'm gonna roll again. Okay. Uh, it says I have connection nice. back. Oh wow. I'm, would, I'm, Yobi would probably help too. Of all people, Xanther rolls a fucking 19 on <laughs> his, Come spindly on, Yobi. his spindly skeleton he, arms. He uh, doesn't, do you, he doesn't skip, but 
arm okay. there. Okay, so that's a 19 from him. That's a 19 from Polly. A 15 from Carly. Rizo, you're not helping. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> uh, Borden, you're working real hard, but some, uh, something's catching up on your end. You can't quite get yours. But let's get an average here. Da, 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 da. Okay, yeah, you guys are able to move it. This thing is pretty heavy, but you are able to slide it over to where Rizo's body was. I'm just going to say you slid Rizo's, or uh, Zeth. I'm mixing everybody's names up today. <laughs> I'm going to say you were able to slide him out of the way and put it there. Um, so your time is just about up. Uh, Xanther is going to say, okay, are any of you proficient in Arcana? No! <laughs> not, not one of you? My God, okay. I guess it's all on me then. Thanks. <laughs> Oh. I you know I can give you guidance, buddy, but nah, not Arcana. Okay. I mean, uh, Yobi so is are... if he is here, but okay, then Yobi. Yeah. So he'll take Yobi's hand and just be like, "I'm just gonna use you as a conduit here to try and amplify my my binding spell that I'm trying to get out of this fucking book of notes that is an absolute disaster." So when the thing poofs back. Uh, Xanther is going to try and bind it with a spell. And since he's able to use Yobi's Arcana um, proficiency, uh, he is going to be able to increase his DC level by one. And then we will see if the entity is able to resist. Oh, fuck it. it no, no, it doesn't. <laughs> like, Hard. <laughs> nat one. It wasn't a nat one, but it was not even close. Um, so yeah, Xanther is able to bind it into back into the amber. Um, yes, Seth, your little glass vial shatters and the glass sticks into your side and uh, you start to bleed from it. But okay. otherwise... You are unharmed. Is he conscious? Man, that could have gone a different way. <laughs> <laughs> that just about did. So, so yeah. how much of this do I know happened? Um, so you are stable but unconscious at the moment. So anybody can... He's, a, he's effectively sleeping at this point, so... Anybody could wake him up, but healing him isn't going to wake him up. Healing him is just going to like, tap I'll, him with um, the I'll, uh, flat edge of my I'll, dagger. Yeah, I'll I'll cast healing word and then try and like slap him awake here too. Okay. Like, cast healing word. Sucks. All right. Uh. Zeth, you regain 5 HP, and somebody is slapping your face. Get up, get up, get up! What are you doing? What are you hitting me for? I thought we were on the same team. What are you doing? What the hell? Trying to unleash dark evils? Get taken we're, over? By... What, what is happening? We're waiting for, uh... Um... Why, why aren't we in the library anymore? Oh, what was cause... the last thing you remember? Um, we were going to, we, we got, we woke up, we got him to look at these books. Um, why, why am I bleeding? Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, I mean, we hit you quite a bit. You're lucky you weren't worse off, really. Um, we were talking to Xanther, trying to find books, and the next thing we knew, you were gone. You, you made your way down here, and then you busted open that amber thing, and this dark energy came out, and then Xanther finally decided to do something about it, and we got it put back in, but yeah, you just kind of, like, disappeared. Did you hear a voice, or... The, touch something or the last thing i remember is yeah being in the library 
trying to figure out why and how we can take care of him and then I'm here yeah you uh disappeared on us and we're down here cracking this thing open we don't know did did we win yeah we won in stopping you so no harm no foul are you mad that I stabbed you? No. No, no harm, no foul then. Don't do that shit again. I mean, I don't think I did it to begin with, but... I mean... Inside check. Me. <laughs> um, Xanther, even though he doesn't breathe, kind of sighs heavily. He's like, alright. Can Come you on. guys get the hell out of my temple before you break something else? Yeah, yeah, that's that. That may be for the best. We didn't search anything. Just kind of walk up to another crystal and just kind of lean on it, like, man, this is lame. Ooh, do you touch it? <laughs> what? <I'm> bored. You <laughs> leaned on it. Maybe I think we would have. If the second okay. he went to like go put his hand out, I think we would have stopped him. <laughs> You nah. think or you know? Nah, I let him touch it. It's fine. I thought you had to break it. The fuck? Nope. Oh, no, 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 no. Breaking it does something else. Uh, I thought when Yobi broke it was the only time that should happen. Yobi didn't break it. Yobi nat won his attack against it. Yobi just touched it. Mm. And um... something reached out and touched back. <laughs> So, given the situation, does Rizo lean on it? Don't I, don't, do I, don't, I don't want to metagame it, knowing that, but that because that would work in my favor if I didn't touch it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> Let the, dice, let the dice make the decision. Yeah, yeah. roll and see if you're smart enough <laughs> not do something. Uh, let's see. Would that be wisdom or intelligence? Uh, for He's this, probably up. intelligence. Ooh. Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. You like are about to lean on it. And like, well, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay. Um. So lean if. On it. <laughs> if you guys are gonna leave um, after this game and sometime before next game, Carly, I will send you a little printout of the stuff you learned from the book that you read. Um, Perfect, thank you. I I was actually thinking about like re re listening to this just so that I could get that bit. Yeah, no, I'll 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 send you something so that you have something you can look at. Perfect, um, thank you. Are you guys leaving or are you staying? Um, I don't know about everybody else, but I kind of want to get out of here. This place is more than I thought. Yeah, is anything I mean, else like, in here that could have... Oh, voices are telling us to break evil spirits out of amber. Like, it was bad enough before when there were just skulls, but now unknown things are telling our people to run down flights of stairs to break them open. It doesn't seem... Seems like maybe we should get out of here while we can. Mm. All right, nothing else in here. Maybe recollect ourselves and the one more, more powerful come back if need be. I mean, really, the only real reason we we came was to get. I mean, the the tarot card, whatever that led us here, was about the sword, right? Yeah, that's true. I mean, in in all, in theory, we've we've done the thing that we did come here to get. I'm not saying we couldn't find other cool things here, but. Need to like buddy system it up so we're things don't call us out or something if we do keep searching this. Fair. But do we have any tarot cards left? Um let's see. Uh, you found mm. Found the book. 
You found the holy symbol, you found the sword. Found no uh, one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um... So there's two cards that haven't technically been addressed. The, the fourth and the fifth card. Oh, shit. Now, you could probably glean from what the fourth card says that you don't really need to do anything with it. <laughs> Isn't that pinned somewhere? Yeah, it's no. pinned in the uh, messages for Curse of Strahd General. Okay. The fourth card. The card sheds light... And one who will help you again, uh, <clears throat> greatly in the battle against darkness. Dark Lord. Ah, the worst of all truths. You must face the evil alone. Ah, well, okay then. Okay. So, are you exiting the temple? Like, all, all I'm getting at here is if you are staying in the temple to rest, are you leaving? Like, where? what is your... Where is your yeah. Yes, uh, I asked. I asked the lich if there's anything else that could help us. Mm -hmm. That he knows of. He says, "Look, Strad came in and fucked with me pretty badly. I want you to do some harm to him." Yeah. So. So. Any. Do that. <laughs> any other stuff or items that would help us in this? Or. This is a knowledge repository. Yeah. Do you have any knowledge of this? I have a lot of knowledge, and there's books on... I've, I've given you ones on the ladies, I've given you ones on how to reconstruct your sword. What do you want? I'm not a fucking mind reader. I mean, I am, but... I was gonna say, uh, aren't you, though? If he wants an all-powerful super weapon to just one-shot you... I was right. making sure there was no other random magical items laying around here that could aid us in this fight. He says, well, there is this. And he pulls out the BFG from Doom. <laughs> well, oh, no. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I don't okay, know if it's good. helpful, but, you know, uh, whatever. <laughs> no. Okay. So when you leave the temple, you go back out into the cold and the snow to make the trek down the mountain. Outside the temple, you see a figure... God damn it. And with the white of the snow and how bundled up they are, you can't really tell who this is as you as they approach you, but uh once they get close, they're like, Oh, there you guys are. I've been looking all over for you. It it's me, Vasily von Holtz. I've got mess I've got letters. <laughs> yeah. Oh Vasily. We know. We know. <laughs> It wasn't until pretty recently that I was even able to get pointed in this direction. This is pretty, pretty tough stuff here. Uh, it's cold up here. I'm really glad I brought a scarf. Um, anyway, uh, let's see. I've got here one for, one for you. Uh, and he hands a letter to Carly. Ooh. Mm -hmm. okay. he, wasn't joking, he wasn't joking about the Carly letters coming back. And Carly, yeah, I thought that was a joke. your letter says, why can't I find your direct message? There it is. Your letter says this. And looking through his pouch, he says, I've also got one for you. And he hands one out to Polly. Great. Fuck's sake, he is. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, uh, the worst. Polly, your hmm. letter is crumpled and has uh, some dry blood crusted on it. Oh. Good. Um, and now I can't find Polly's direct messages. Where are they? Have I not messaged you in a long time? Are you just way down here? Yep, there you are. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oops. Nope, I can't give you her. I almost gave you Carly's letter. <laughs> oh, I don't want Carly's. <laughs> I'll take the one with the crumpled in the blood, please. I don't want Carly. Okay. Do, 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 and... Uh-oh. Copy. 
Christ. All right. So you guys each have letters, and then uh, Vasily will uh, turn and head back down the mountain. Okay, is that all the letters for everybody? That is all the letters for everybody. So, Carly, what's your letter say? Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands mine, only. Uh, mine says that he is coming, so should, we should probably get the fuck out of here. Because um, he said that he's going to send someone to collect me and not to resist. So what we do is run away and absolutely resist. Got it. Absolutely, yeah, of course. What else? Right, well, we should get going then. Um, yeah. Where to next? We do have some hearts is, is to nobody destroy. Going to ask? Is nobody going to ask what the other letter says? The blood oh. letter? Yes, what does it say? <laughs> I wasn't going to pry into Polly's business, but okay. Uh, yeah, Polly will walk over to Rizo uh, and put her hand on his shoulder and say, I'm I'm so sorry. I don't know what this means, but the winery is gone. Um, winery is gone. Uh, we are undone. He came and his wrath was terrible. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, I must try and keep the family together. Must keep them safe. Stay alive, stay safe from Danica. Uh, so I don't know where your brother is. I don't know if he's in there, but that's where we left him, right? Was that the winery? I think it was. That's where we kind of left everybody. Yeah, that's kind of where we, we sent him. That's been the safe haven for everyone. Yeah, I'll, I'm, I'm sorry. I, 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 he must have, after we left him... There, he he must have gone and and destroyed it. I I don't know where your brother is. I don't know where Remy is. I don't know where my family is. But we can't go back there. So I don't know where we want to go. That was about the only other place we could have gone. If he already destroyed it, you really think he'd go back? He could go back and see what's left of it, but I don't think we'll find any good answers there. We do have some ties to sever. Make it make him weaker. Know for sure. <clears throat> we can we can go back to the winery or the uh I would have uh, we gotta go we can go to like one of the the three goddesses shrines, right? And try and purify and or something with that, right? I really like think I would know. Winery. Think I would know a tree. I mean, I would definitely know a tree back of the winery. I could jump us there, but then we're kind there. of stuck there for a while. Or I can there jump us no to one of the shrines here, where you're at at the top of the yeah. mountain. Yeah, we'd have to walk a little bit, but I don't think we had to walk very far. But this is where we're gonna call it for the day. Mm. Matt, no, not Matt. It's fine. Tom, I'm flustered right now. Don't be flustered. Oh, I'm flustered, sir. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why are you so evil? I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm just dealing with the DM with them. <laughs> These cruel, cruel jokes. Hey, only one person is confirmed dead in that letter, so. It's true. All right. Anyway, I will see you uh -huh. all next week, same time. See you next week. Alrighty. All right. And All still right. on for tomorrow? Bye. Uh, yes, we are still.